My name is S. Nicole Nelson, and I'm auditioning for the role of Miss Randall. Take one. Mr. Wilkes, I just graded my third hour test papers, and I found four papers with the exact same answers and the exact same score from four of my worst students. I think something's going on. Luke, stay right there. I need to talk to you. Maybe they studied. Boy, stop that running and go to class. Well, I think they cheated. They erased and wrote the correct answers as if the person giving the answers made a mistake. I'm gonna give them the test again tomorrow after school. And this time, they're gonna have to take it orally. Well, let me know the results. You know the school's policy on cheating. When you talk to Luke, tell him I wanna personally talk to him about helping him. Take two. Sydney, I've been looking for you and your posse. You guys have to take your test again, but this time orally. What? I didn't cheat. You're always picking on me and my boys. Well, I didn't say you cheated. I just want you and your boys to come take this test again. Today in my room after school at 345. And be on time, please. But I didn't cheat. Well, then you should have no problem passing the test. Look, while we're on the subject of cheating, I'll give you students a few facts. First of all, cheating is not cool. Cheating can cause you a lot of embarrassment. And you know old folks say, if you cheat, you'll steal. The school has a very strict code of conduct when it comes to cheating. Now, the rules state that if one is suspected of cheating, the teacher has the option to administer the test again orally. And if the student fails, then they can be suspended from school for up to two weeks. And it goes on your permanent record. Now I'll see you and your boys after school at 345. And be on time. You know, students, there's a lot of differences of opinion that can lead to problems and conflicts. But we want to try to work through these problems to come to a solution. And you and your friends, you guys have rights as students. You can come by the guidance counselor's office and discuss it today if you want. You guys can state the reasons why you don't want to take the test. But this can be done right now if you want. We call this a form of conflict resolution. Remember, Sydney, talking about problems can bring along positive results. Negative attitudes only destroy communication. And remember, violence is never an answer to solving problems. Take three. Sydney's mother had a heart attack at work about two hours ago. She didn't make it. She died before the ambulance arrived. Sydney's dad called me and asked me not to tell him. He was going to tell all the children when they get home from school. Oh my God. I just saw her this morning on the way to school. She was dropping off her younger children at the elementary school. Well, don't say anything to anyone about Sydney's mother. I'm going to make a special announcement five minutes before school ends today. I just hope Sydney doesn't blame himself for this. He'll probably think that his action caused her to have a heart attack. You know how disappointed and upset she got when she had to come to the school for his behavior problems. Yeah, but I've seen a change in that young man. And I hope his mother saw it too. A change for the better. Now it's up to the staff and students to help Sydney get through this. Death is never easy on anyone, especially when a young person loses a parent. Well... Let's get back to class. After school, I'm going to visit with Sydney's family. Please express my sympathies to them. And don't forget, I'm giving the test today after school. I'll let you know what the results are. Oh, I do have a bit of great news, though. Luke is coming back to school. Yep, he'll be back tomorrow. And I'm going to personally sit down with him and discuss his plans for getting back on track with his education. Now, Luke does understand that he has to repeat the 10th grade, but he's willing to do whatever it takes to make his high school requirements. Now, I did assure him that you would personally do anything you could to help him. 